I will call it Ansible. Then I switch back to the user to, to the changes applied. And here I will sudo to host name. I will su switch to the root user. Then I will change the host name and I call it Jenkins. And then switch back to the Ubuntu Ubuntu user. Then I clear. So if I come here, I will answer the name, and the name is is Ansible. And for the host name, it is the a the IP address. Right, paste it here, and the username tab Larry, and click on advanced. Then I will choose to use the password authentication. Right, and here I will enter my password of this user on this. Ansible server. I hope that is clear. So, if you still remember, if you have watched my previous videos, right? If we try to make an SSH, we have to modify something. Because now, if we try to test the configuration, yes, it show me that the configuration succeed. But I think I have enabled I have enabled that that feature previously, and that feature is try. To edit the etc ssh 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 the config right and scroll down here and then so for the password authentication right I have yes so I don't know why this both of them are so password authentication by default when you when you when you at first time run your you run your your ansible server and once you you launch your ec2 instance this this option of password authentication is here you will find no so you have to switch it to yes then save the changes and then run the service sshd reload to apply the changes so if i come back here now and try to test again yes it's accepted i will apply and then save the change Now I will go to my GitHub, right, and then I will here, I will create my first, my first job. Don't worry if you are not familiar with Jenkins. In the next videos, I will do some courses only for Jenkins, right, and all the stuffs that I have covered on my project. Everything I will explain it separately in a section or in a, in a collection of videos, right? So here before we dive and use that uh, to integrate Jenkins with code pipeline, let me show you some stuff about Jenkins. And the first thing is I will instead of using code code pipeline, I will show you how one one feature called it publish over SSH work on on Jenkins, right? So here we will call it first job or publish over SEC freestyle project then hit enter. So go into to GitHub and then to my repositories.
right and then choose this one where there is domain controller vpn incorporate data center and try to copy its url then scroll down here as you have you can see here we have ews code pipeline option but we are going here using it then paste that url right if you if you face an an issue in the the source code management here if you if you face an error you have to make sure that git package is installed on on the system on your operating system that you are using during during running jenkins for example here in ubuntu on ubuntu you have to make sure that git is already installed right then i will not to build but i will just try to retrieve the code and push it as as it as it so i will pull it from github right then i try to push it to our ansible server so for source file i will type asterisk mean everything within this this workspace right and then the remote directory i want it to be devops so once i specify devops here then the jenkins will go to my to my directory home abdali then slash devops then paste all the artifacts the artifact i mean by the artifacts here all these folders in this in this directory let's call it devops i have not created yet so let me create a directory and call it devops right because when i in the, in the authentication when i did the ssh server i have specified abdali user so it will it will look under the home abdali about this directory and when it find it it will paste the artifact now if i try to get in the devops there is nothing here but once i will apply and save it will start to build our job you have to wait If I try to to build it now, try to refresh. It is built successfully, right? So the first thing that will Ansible will do. Sorry, Jenkins will do is try to retrieve our project, right? Then under this directory, it will paste our files and folders. Then after that, it will try to push them to Ansible. So if we come back here and try to list, right? We have here that. But here, as you can see, there is only files. And why that? Because I have done only 